Good evening, everyone. We're so thankful that you joined us for Hour of Power Live. Yes. And it's a wonderful day to be serving the Lord. It's a wonderful day to feel His presence <laughs> like we feel Him right now. He is such a great big God, and we're going to talk about the power that He has given us to be conquerors over death, hell, and the grave, sin, disease, anything that comes against us. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. I'd like for you to join with us now as we sing praise and worship songs. The first one says, listen to this. I just feel like something good is about to happen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God's 
know nothing's too big for God, things are too big for us. Come on, that's But it. nothing is too big for God. And that last line says, nothing's too big for God, and I'm in His rest. Yeah. That, to me, is a huge part of nothing being too big uh -huh. and allowing God to work the situations out. Yes. 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 If we're in His rest, which means we have complete faith in Him, yes. that we can just say, all right, God, handle it. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's not Maybe not that nonchalant, but to have that faith in Him that you can actually rest in the knowledge that He's going yes, to handle. He is God. Yes, He's sovereign yes. and He is God. I just had to say that, yes. April, that we have to rest and be faithful to Him, and He will be faithful to yes. us. Hey, hallelujah. Okay. Yes. Hallelujah.
but sometimes we get overwhelmed Thank you, Jesus. by the needs around us. Yeah. And, you know, I, I had a friend text last night, and her husband may have, uh, they're saying a, a tumor on his kidney, young man, and of course they're concerned. But that's nothing for my God. That's right. nothing, nothing for my God. I shared with them, I got on and shared with them the testimony about my brother-in-law. They did a brain scan. It showed a place on his brain. We began to pray, and God intervened. When they did the MRI, it was gone. There was nothing there. Nothing there. And he has been he's been in good health. We praise God. Yes. And God, God can do the impossible. Amen. There's nothing impossible for him. So whatever it is that you're facing tonight, as April talks, I want your faith to be built up. It doesn't matter if it's a financial need, maybe you're you're flat broke. Flat broke, and you're like, where am I? Where is this going to come from? God can work a miracle yes, to supply your needs yes. tonight. Yes. Whatever it is, a physical need, a marriage that's dissolved, and you said there's no way, there's no love in this marriage, but God can breathe love into that marriage yes, again, and He can restore and renew that marriage. Yes, amen. Amen. Just get a hold of this message tonight that we serve a great, yes. big God. Amen. He is sovereign. Yes. He is sovereign. He is the one in control, and he can do anything whatsoever that we need Amen. done. He is able to do it. Yes. Don't limit our God. We need to never limit our God.
Yes, he is so good. He is so good. Well, come on with us. You know the. You know what's coming next. Lord, I praise you for the round. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I praise you now. Oh, we praise you now, sweet Jesus. Well, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is good. He is good. Oh, hallelujah. Romans 8 31. It says. What shall we then say to these things? Right. <laughs> what What are we going to say to our problems? Right. There you go. There what are we go. going to say to our heartache? What are we yeah. going to say to our sickness? This is what we're going to say. If God right. be for us, who right. can be against Amen. us? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm Amen. telling you, uh, I, I, I don't know what you're going to even call this. If you're going to call this teaching or I don't even know if you can call it that. But I'm just going to... I, I'm just going to pour my heart out right. to you, if that's all right. Yes, Amen. Uh, like Jana said, we were talking earlier, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm always, and we all are so always honored and humbled when people uh, trust us enough to tell us the things that they're going through yes. and want us to pray. It's such a beautiful and a wonderful thing, and I, I never want to take it for granted ever. Um, but sometimes, you know, people, uh, sometimes, uh, and this week has been one of those sometimes when it's been a lot of people, and I love it. Please don't misunderstand me. I love it, and it, I desire for you to give us things to pray for because it's right. wonderful to see God move. But sometimes, uh, and these have been heavy, heavy burdens that people are carrying mm -hmm. and, and big needs. And like Rhonda said, uh, in our own strength and in our own power, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. 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 <laughs> but I'm so thankful that we serve a God, mm -hmm. and it's not up to our abilities and not up to our strength. It's His, His ability, power. His, His power, right. and we can, yes, glory, glory. and we can <laughs> rest in that. Yes. So uh, I caught myself all of those people uh, messaging me, and I, I again let me say it, it's uh, uh, it's a joy for me yeah. and it's an honor for me to hear those. So, and I care about you. I honestly, I love you and I care about you. And sometimes my heart hurts for what, what you're going through. You know, I know, <laughs> you know, sometimes the Lord just lets me feel the pain that you go through. Well, so I had one of those moments, even last night, there was just a, so many people and so many heavy burdens. And I, I was just crying and I was praying. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you find yourself like that. <laughs> but God's so good to me. Amen. Yes. And He's so lovingly and so awesomely. He knows just what to speak to us mm -hmm. at just the right time right. that'll get our attention and shift uh, shift our thinking and shift <laughs> the direction. I'm just Pray so bogged down and I just uh -huh. felt the weight of all of those burdens. But God, it's mm -hmm. like, um, and, and please bear with me using this illustration, but it was like God said, okay. We're in a, a, a spiritual like football game. We're in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're in the fourth quarter uh -huh. and you behind. Uh -huh. The score, you behind. Uh -huh. And and he God is called a timeout. All right. <laughs> Praise God. We're in this fourth quarter and some of you've been going through these hard things. And man, the score says that you're way behind and you think, man, there's no way I can win this one. And you're so burning <laughs> down. But I, I, I love to listen to some uh, re famous coaches, like their speeches. You know, what mm -hmm. did they say to what those they players when they're behind in the score? What do they say to them? They, what they say can influence that whole game. Oh, those yeah. words right. can yes. uh, inspire people to do great things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So God did that to me last night. Woo! I'm so fired up about it, about all of these. Uh, um, let me say, I'm not even going to say prayer requests. I'm just going to see. I'm going to say these uh, uh, future future miracles that we're going to yes. see. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 
So God, this is God speaking through me to you. We in the timeout. Okay, team, listen up. This is what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah. It's not a time to be down. Uh, we're in the championship. We're in the fourth quarter in this thing called life. Jesus is about to come back. Yeah. The devil is on. He's on all high alert. He's put, throwing out every punch. Yeah. We're in the fourth quarter. But hey, now, yeah. this is our time. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is God's time to work through us and do amazing things. So I'm telling you, hold your head up. Yeah. <laughs> Get yeah. your head up. And he's saying, yeah. this is what he would say. <laughs> he before I said before I tell you this, there is a time, and I know when hard things come, it, it sometimes if we're not watching and praying, things catch us off guard. Oh, yeah. They right. catch yeah. us off guard. And we in right. this flesh that we're living in, we're not only flesh, by the way, but the flesh that we're living in, it feels these emotions and it's it it thinks these thoughts, the flesh does. But if you're at that point, I, I know that some of you I've I've spoken with you myself and I know where you're at on, in this journey and this in this problems that you're going through. It's hard and, and I hear you crying and I I hear, uh, I hear your heart. And, and I told one lady, I said, you need to get in a place away from all the di all the distractions mm -hmm. in your life yeah. mm -hmm. and pour yourself out to God. And when I mean pour out, I mean pour out. God knows you're fearful. He knows you're worried. He knows yeah. those feelings that you're feeling. So take an opportunity to pour out those things to God. Exactly. Right. Be honest. Yes. Be honest with Him. He loves you. Oh yes. goodness. Yes. If you're doubtful, if you're in unbelief, pour it out to Him. Right. Exactly. Because <laughs> when He, if you don't pour out those things, how can He pour in exactly. the good things? Exactly. So pour yes. out those things that you be truthful. He already knows it already. Mm -hmm. You can't hide anything from mm -hmm. it. But right. take a moment before you do anything, before you listen to this pep talk, if you have to pause it and come back and listen to the rest of it, if, if I mean, now's the time to pour out everything that you're going through to God mm -hmm. so He can pour in mm -hmm. yes. what I'm about to tell you. Yes. Right. Pour it out. Okay, the first thing the coach is going to say is all right, defense. Hold the line. <laughs> yeah. Build a wall. You know, in football, it's all about those yardage. Get even a one yard makes a difference. And the defense, their job is to hold that line right. where that 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 uh, 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 defender, the other your enemy, yeah. cannot cross that line. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and you say, well, what does that mean? I'm, I'm I know I'm talking about football. And, and wives, if you don't understand this these illustrations, ask your husband what the, what these mean. He'll tell you. But what I mean spiritually about hold the line is don't give the enemy one yard of your mind, of your thoughts. Don't you give the enemy one yard, one inch of space in your heart. Hold the line. I know the Bible talks about, you know, this armor of God. It talks about putting on the helmet of salvation. It talks about taking up the shield of faith so that we can quench all the fiery darts. And I'm so convinced my, our pastor preached on it about those fiery darts are thoughts from the enemy. <laughs> Doubt, unbelief, worry, anxiety, depression. You'll always be like this. Nothing will change. They're going to die. They're not going to get well. They're going to get a divorce. Don't get, hold the line. Yes, <laughs> hold the line. Don't let the enemy get one more. Don't let him get one word in your mind Amen. and in your heart. Hold the line. Amen. And I thought Amen. about, I've Amen. shared this several times. I love this. these two little verses are, are probably one of my two favorite two verses together in the Bible. You probably know what I'm going to talk about, but it's in uh, 2 Samuel 23, verse 11 and 12. And it says, And after him was Shammah, the son of Agi the Harabite. And the Philistines were gathered together in a troop where there was a piece of ground full of lentils. And the people, everybody else, fled the fil from the Philistines. But Shammah stood right. in the midst of the ground and mm -hmm. defended it. Yeah, defended his <laughs> And it says, and slew the Philistines. And a troop is like a couple hundred mm -hmm. uh, soldiers. 
Could you imagine trying to fight 200 soldiers to you one? One person against 200. Yeah. Could you imagine? But it said he, he stood right in the middle of the ground. That ground, that seed that he had sowed, that seed that he had planted. Uh -huh. And spiritually, I, that could represent, you know, those prayers that you've prayed. The word that you've declared over your lost children. The word yeah. you've declared for your healing. You've sowed the seed. The word is the seed. And right. you've sowed that ground. And, and no matter how many... Uh, imps of hell try to come and take that seed, you got to defend, you got to hold the line. Right. And it said that he slew every one of those Philistines, but it was the Lord that wrought a great yes, victory. Yes, 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 yes. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You got to hold the line. Right. You uh, Maybe maybe you've been sowing uh, maybe you've been sowing seed, but it hasn't been seeds of faith. Maybe you've been sowing seeds of doubt. Uh, it, well, it's time yeah. To, to plant a new crop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's time to get some new ground, break up the fallow ground, and get some good seed in the ground. Yeah. And start praying it, start declaring it, start shouting it, start proclaiming it, and guard it. Don't let the enemy come and rob you. Send, oh man, that's not going to grow. Yes, it will, because God's word will not return void, right. but it will accomplish what He wanted yes, it to, amen. and it'll prosper in that. It even amen. says that. Yes, thank you. Jesus. Hold the line. Hold the line. Thank you, Hold Jesus. the line. Lord, I Hallelujah. Thank you, Don't you be afraid. If God be for us, who can be against us? That's been ringing out in my in my ear. Um, right. <laughs> after he would address the defense, hold the line, boys. Can't you just hear a coach saying that? Yeah. Hold the line, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Then he's going to turn to the offense and he say, all right, offense. Offense the one that makes the, the touchdowns. They're the one that's, yeah. that, that makes the goal. He's going to say, all right, offense, it's time to advance. Mm -hmm. Time to advance. Right. Time to advance. Oh, I'm so fired up about this. I've never, I've never really connected the dots like this before. But the Holy Ghost, I mean, in my pep talk last night, He was showing me that yeah. even this afternoon. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, let me just. Can I? No, oh, sorry, did yeah. I interrupt you? No, no. Uh, in Romans uh, chapter eight, everybody knows this is very, very familiar uh, scripture. And and by the way, I'm going to read a lot of scripture, but we need to hear it. Okay. I, I I'm not. I will not apologize about right. taking time to read this Amen. because you hear me. It's very important tonight. Uh, Romans 8, uh, verse 33 through 39. It says, Who shall lay anything uh, to the charge of God's elect? <laughs> Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Right. Hallelujah. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Praise for us. <laughs> How can we fail when we have this Jesus that conquered death, hell, and the grave, Amen. conquered everything, and he's sitting victoriously at the right hand of God himself, the creator of all things, and that Jesus is praying for you right now. <laughs> How can yes, we fail? Is. Oh, my goodness. He's making intercession for us, and it says this, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, I mean said no, <laughs> no way. In all things we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Amen. I said we're more than yes. conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded. Yes. <laughs> oh, goodness, yeah. this is the key. I'm persuaded. I'm thoroughly convinced that neither death, nor <laughs> life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. In all Hallelujah. these things, mm -hmm. he has made us more than conquerors in your problems, in your trouble, in your sorrow, in yes. your broken heart. Yes. You, he has made you more than a conqueror. Yes. So I've been pondering right. on what does that really mean? Mm -hmm. okay. If y'all, right. you, whatever you, if the Lord mm -hmm. laid something on your heart or, or you thought mm -hmm. you, I want you to feel free to share it. 
But you know me, the first thing I'm going to do is look it up <laughs> in the Greek. And what it means, uh, the Greek, it means vanquish beyond. <laughs> Not just vanquish, but vanquish beyond. It says gain a decisive victory, subdue and overcome. And mm -hmm. and that's what the Greek means. But now I looked up all word is that? That is a... Uh, 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 more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. That, that's yes. what it means. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I looked up old Webster. We sang about old Webster. <laughs> <laughs> Webster's dictionary. And he says, "This is what this is what grabbed me." He says to overcome and take control of a place or people. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hold the line. That's defense. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. And he's telling about offense. Oh, my goodness. Hold mm -hmm. the line. Defense. Guard your mind. Guard mm -hmm. your heart. Now he's saying offense. Okay. <laughs> it's time to advance. Mm -hmm. Oh, my right. goodness. Right. And he took me up to Joshua. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 1. Y'all are going to have to pray for me. I'm just going to. I'm about to follow. Hey, well, as you turn, I was just yes. going to say, you know, as I was reading this scripture earlier today. It says that we are more than conquerors, like yeah. you're saying. And I was like you. I'm saying, okay, what does that mean? More mm -hmm. than conquerors. You know, to conquer, when you conquer, you won. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You won. But this is saying we're going to be more yeah. than yeah. conquerors. Yes. All right. And it, it feel it feels to me in tying it in because the, the way he goes on and continues to talk, for I'm persuaded, and he begins to talk about the love of Christ. That's what. Is making us more than a conqueror. Amen. Because not only have we won, but we have the love of Christ. Amen. That is, I mean, that's, that's, you know, what does it say in Corinthians 13? The greatest of these is love. love. Uh -huh. Yes. I mean, if you have the love of Christ in your life, mm -hmm. you are more yeah. than all of this. Right. You're more Absolutely. than your battles. You're more than your victories. You're more than mm -hmm. all of this because yeah. you have the love of Christ. Yes, keeping you and, and and bring and 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 like Sister Rhonda said, keeping you and bringing you into that place of rest. Yes, yes. as a warrior. Yes, and, yes. and you yeah. know, Dana, yes. I, I, I really am convinced that there's a lot of people that haven't realized the love. They right. haven't accepted the love of they Jesus for them. Got received that that fullness yes. of the love of Christ in their life. You know, they right. think, well, I've messed up and I've done all these horrible things. How could he love me? Oh, mm -hmm. you're missing the point. Mm -hmm. The whole point is that because you've done all those things, mm -hmm. he loves you. What mm -hmm. can separate you? Nothing. No height, no bed, no exactly. uh, Nothing mm -hmm. can separate you mm -hmm. from the love. And it right. says that nothing can pluck you from his hand. Right. It doesn't matter your past. It doesn't matter anything. If you haven't received it, I want you to take a time to... Spend some time with Jesus and, and ask Jesus to reveal the fullness of his love that he mm -hmm. has for you. Right. He will change everything. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. And another thing about more than the conqueror. Uh, you know, if you're a conqueror, uh, that's it. But I, the, uh, the Lord showed me back to a football game. Mm -hmm. if, you know, a win's a win. But there's another kind of win, and it's called a blowout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Okay, there it is. In that way, well, you like them. I yeah. mean, you shut them out. And that, to me, is what more than a conqueror is. It's mm -hmm. not just a, a, a victory, barely scooting by and barely winning. It's a un, I mean, uncontended, nothing, no questions about it. It's a huge victory. And that's what he's made in us. Oh, my goodness. And when you're more than a conqueror, when you win, mm -hmm. you get the prize. <laughs> <laughs> well, glory. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> exactly. So, Mr. Webster told us that uh, uh, being a, a conqueror is to overcome and take control of a place or people. Mm -hmm. Now, we're talking about offense, how to advance. Right. Now, listen to this in Joshua, chapter 1, verses 3 through 9. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, how this is so awesome to me. I'm just praying that you get a hold of it like the Lord showed it to me. 
He says, every place yeah. that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, yeah. that I have given unto you, as I said unto uh -huh. Moses. Yeah. From the wilderness at this Lebanon, even to the, unto the great river, the river of Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. There shall not any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. As I was with Moses, I'm going to be yes, with you amen. in that same capacity. Hallelujah. I will not fail you, and I will not forsake you. Oh, my goodness, what a promise. It says, be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land. There's the prize, Rhonda, the inheritance. Yeah. Which wow. I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only, hear it again. Only be thou strong and very courageous. That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. Which Moses my <laughs> servant commanded you. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left. That thou may prosper wherever you go. And it's talking about the law. And now we know it's talking about the word of God. Mm -hmm. Don't you turn from the right, right. or the left. Amen. You hold fast to this word and it's going to prosper. How yes. it, if Amen. you hold on to it. Yes. That's what Thank it says. You. It says Hallelujah. this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. I would to God that the only words that came out of my mm -hmm. mouth was the word of God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. how powerful that would be. Yep. This, it shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate. There's the key. Mm -hmm. You shall meditate therein day mm -hmm. and night, that yeah. you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then you shall have good success. If you want to see success, if you want to see God move in your situation, this is it. <laughs> he says, be strong and be courageous. And then he says, okay, I'm telling you again, be strong and be very courageous and meditate on the word day and night. Meditate on what he says about your situation. It's full of promises, okay? And then you're going to have good success. And then he, in verse 9, have I not commanded you? This is not a suggestion. Right. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Don't be afraid Amen. and don't be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I heard a, a, one of the most awesome messages ever, and it was called, Put Your Foot on It. <laughs> right. In the book of Joshua, that, ver that mm -hmm. verse number three, right. every place the that the sole of your foot shall tread mm -hmm. upon, that I have given to you, as I said unto Moses, it's time to advance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 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 Put your foot on it. He's given us, it's, the Bible calls it exceeding great and precious promises mm -hmm. that he's given us. Right. So uh, 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 he's given us a promise about your healing. Put your foot on it. <laughs> so that means stand on it. Hallelujah. He's given you promises about your marriage. Who God has joined together. Let no man put asunder. He's given you promises about your lost loved ones. Amen. He said he'd call them from the north, yes, south, sir. east, Amen. and the west. He would give orders. Amen. Bring thy seed. Hallelujah. Yes. The, the word is full of these promises. Yes. And it's time to advance. It's time to, to start marching. <laughs> marching on the on the word. Every place you put your foot on your marriage. Put your foot on your lost loved ones. Right. Put your foot on your on your healing that you need. Start marching and declaring it. Yes. Shouting it. Proclaiming it. Oh my goodness. No, I, this, I, just, I feel strongly this. That's why I'm going to speak it out. Because I feel like that, that what has happened is that the enemy has got us in that mm. place of defending the line and he's got us there and he's keeping people at that place mm -hmm. and they're and and they're they're doing they're like they're doing all they can yes. they're trying to defend the line they're mm -hmm. trying to stay stay in this place and they're and they're getting weary and yeah. they're getting mm -hmm. wore out yeah. and they're getting yeah. you know just like that defensive line they get wore exactly. out and they're sweating and they're weary and they're mm -hmm. wore out and they can't <laughs> You know, because they're 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 just staying in that one place. Mm -hmm. They're staying there, just just trying to defend the line and stop the darts and and guard and all this. 
and, and the enemy is using this as a tactic in the in the place that we're at right now. Mm -hmm. I really feel this strongly, even with the pandemic and all we've gone through mm -hmm. in the last two years. I feel like the enemy is trying to keep us in this place where we're just kind of hanging on yeah. and, and hope, just trying to hold the line. And, and God is speaking out and God is saying it's time yes. to advance. Come on. You've got to advance. Yes. You've got to get past this place that we're at because we're just staying still. We're staying steady. We're mm -hmm. not moving forward. We're just kind of holding and fighting and battling against the enemy and holding that line. And God is saying tonight through this word that April said that it is time to advance. Yes. It's time for us to get that word and go forward mm. and advance and, and move forward. Don't allow the enemy to keep us in that place Amen. any longer. Amen. I really feel this strong. Yes, I do too. That's the word of the Lord. I really believe Yes, this. Well, Christ was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to fast for 40 mm. days and 40 nights. At his weak, human weakest moment, mm. where he was so hungry, yes. the devil <coughs> came to him. Yeah. At that point in time, Christ was on the defense Mm. Y'all, think and about it. Line he was holding the line yeah. because he knew what his calling yes. was for. But when the devil came at him at this weakest moment, what did he do? He stood on the word. It is mm. written. It is written. Yes. That has to be a lesson to us tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. That when we're there, that we need to get in the word, stand mm -hmm. on the word, rest in its promises, mm -hmm. and go forward. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I believe that with everything advance, within me. Advance, advance. I feel that in my mm -hmm. bones. It's right. time. Mm -hmm. It's time. Well, we're advance. running out of time. Yes. That's the truth. Yes. We're yes. running out of time. And mm -hmm. it's time for us to get serious about advancing mm -hmm. for the kingdom of mm -hmm. God in, in every area mm -hmm. of our lives exactly. to, to advance, to quit being in this mm -hmm. place. I really feel that the enemy has just got us in this place of just, I can just see, you know, with people just fighting, yeah, and fighting and fighting and fighting, mm -hmm. trying to just, just. That's that's what we've been doing. We've been fighting for our lost loved ones. Mm -hmm. We've been fighting the fight, mm -hmm. and it's time that we overcame and conquered intimidation. Yes, it's time that we overcame and and defeated. Uh, being bold, mm -hmm. you know, the weak, you know, yeah. just just hanging back and praying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is, praying is strong. Mm -hmm. But there's time that you have to put legs mm -hmm. on your prayers, yes, on your Lord. faith, uh -huh. and you have to press in toward yes. the spark. Amen. Yes. Man. Man. Uh, Praise God. And it, okay, so we're talking, can I, this is just a practical application right. of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've been, <laughs> we've been, like, say if we've had a lost son or our mm -hmm. daughter yes. we've been we've been uh, we've been weeping and crying yes. and, and fighting mm -hmm. and stuff okay uh -huh. so here this is a practical application of that holding the line means uh uh Finding your faith to believe again. There's one scripture, I didn't write it down, maybe Danny, you can help me. And it talks about there comes a time to refrain from weeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a time to refrain yeah. from weeping. Yeah. Dry your eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I feel that so strong. Dry yeah. your eyes from mm -hmm. weeping. The Lord has heard your prayer. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. He's heard your prayer. And now it's time to walk it out in faith. Mm -hmm. So that means right. quit weeping about it. Trust God with it. Mm -hmm. And you start declaring it. Mm -hmm. And if you if they're lost, go to your church and save them a seat. <laughs> they say, okay, this seat is for Brock. Mm -hmm. This seat is for Sarah. This right. seat is for whoever. Mm -hmm. you, there, it's a difference. It's a different mindset from just weeping and oh what am I going to do to okay God you are powerful there's nothing too hard for you I know I'm right. looking for my son I'm looking for my daughter I'm looking that you see that transition that's the difference between holding the line right. and fighting right. to doing it to advancing to speaking it and knowing and having expectation that you will see it with your own eyes soon and very soon that's it Amen. Lord. I know God laid it on my heart to with a loved one that I've prayed for. He laid it on my heart to to go and and uh, my, I got a really nice Bible, not just some, not just some, you know, inexpensive Bible you can get Hobby Lobby. We went and got a nice Bible, and I had his name engraved in it. Mm -hmm. And you know, like like you're saying, putting legs to your prayers yes. that you're you're in faith believing. That that one's coming to the Lord, mm -hmm. and you're going to hand that Bible to them and put it in their hands. Yes, 
and and like you said, some of the different things we can do and by faith. Exactly. By start faith. advancing. Absolutely. I, uh, I know this might be short, but I really wanted some time to be able to pray for folks. Uh, so I want to read one, I want to read us some scripture <laughs> for the last thing. This seems to kind of be a theme, uh, Dana. I think you've, you've shared it several times and it's been on my heart too. But I want to read the whole chapter of Psalms 27. Oh, All right. Yeah, that one's. It good. says, <laughs> The Lord is my light. Yes. Mm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Hallelujah. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. <laughs> Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me. <laughs> he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Hallelujah. Something that's sturdy and stable. You won't be wavering. You won't be shaken. It's sturdy. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Hallelujah. Round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, seek my face, my heart said unto thee, my face, Lord, will I see. Yes. Hide not your face far from me, and put not your servant away in anger. You have been yes. my help. Oh, don't leave me, right. neither forsake me, O oh God of my salvation. When my, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Oh, teach me thy way. Oh, teach us your way, O oh Lord, yes. and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies for fault witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. Yes. Glory yeah. to God. Well, yes. hallelujah. Amen. That's all I can say yes. is amen. Yes. Amen. I had so many, uh, so many people message me and want mm -hmm. specifically this whole hour of, of power team to be praying. We're praying for a, 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 a boy named, uh, actually a man named Brock. I, uh, the Lord showed me to pray for this guy named Brock, just like he's my own son. We're wow. praying for Brock. I'm going to say all these mm -hmm. these these uh, uh, opportunities yes. for miracles that we're going to see. We're praying for Brock. Uh, there's a, I have a special friend that's uh, in ICU, mm -hmm. uh, COVID pneumonia. We are advancing yes, and amen. we are holding the line, speaking <coughs> yes. over my friend. Hallelujah. Yes, we are. Uh, we have a, a, a Miss Wanda Cobb wants us to pray for her daddy. Uh, there is, um, oh Lord, help me remember. There's so many. Remember my friend, her her husband. Yes, that, that I was referring to earlier with the the tumor. But, but I know God can just it's gone. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's several women that have messaged me about their marriage. Uh, uh, God's going to do great things. I know it. If we'll take this word to heart and we will listen to the to our pep our pep talk from the commander in chief. He's not just our coach. He's the commander of the angel armies of heaven. Hallelujah. And not only that, he's our father. 
Yeah. If we'll take heed to yes. what he's telling us tonight, take courage, yes. be strong, yes. have faith, don't be afraid, wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord. Yes. and then start advancing in his word, speaking it, yes. declaring it, yes. hallelujah. We are going to see uh, prosperity happen yes. in all of these situations. Hallelujah. We're going to see success. Yes. The word said it, so hallelujah. we're going to see it. Hallelujah. Yes. Miss Emily, she's checking to see if there's any other prayer requests. Well, all right. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Let's join together. Jesus, we're standing on your word. My God, we thank you for your word, Lord. That uh, you are so powerful. You are so strong, God. We're calling out these names. Every one of these requests, God. We know that you're a God of miracles. You are a God that is all time. Lord, your time is perfect, God. Your will is perfect, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord, we together, God, we in agreement, Father God, that your word is true, Father. Yes, God, we speak to God's drugs. Be healed in the name of Jesus. We declare that she will live and not die and declare the goodness of the Lord. We declare it, we speak it, Father. The Lord loves to be healed from the toe of her head to the soles of her feet. God, we speak life and healing, God, to where she is right at this moment, Father. Yes, God, we speak it right there, God, we pray this life, Lord. Lord, I pray for the same loved ones, God, these prodigals, Lord. We call in them and call them the mighty men and women of God. We call in them, God. Lord, we call them, God. Lord, we call them Ian Father, for one child leaving in the way of God. Lord, I pray, God, right now that you would just give encouragement, God, to the ones that are here. I pray, God, for strength, Lord, God, and rest, God, that they can rest in you, rest in your faithfulness, rest in your promises, God, rest in your power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God. Oh, God, and we're going to worship you. We're going to pray. Right in the middle of this mess, yes. we're gonna yes. shout the, with the voice of triumph, Father. No matter what it looks like, because we know that you're working, we know that you're moving, Father. We know that you're you're orchestrating a great victory, Father. Even as we speak, Lord, Hallelujah, Lord, I love you, my God. Yes, Lord, yes, my God. I love you, my God. I love you, my God. I thank you, Jesus, God, that you're doing good things, God. Oh, we worship you, we praise you. Restoration, oh God. Bring 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 and yes. Corbin asked that we pray for her marriage. All right. Yes, we're praying for this marriage. Hallelujah. Oh, your word says what you have joined together, Father. Let no man put us under, Father. Lord, I pray God for a restoration of love. Lord, I declare, Father, let forgiveness flourish, God. Let, uh, don't let there be any place for bitterness, for God. Let them see through different eyes, Father. Let them see through eyes of love, God. Lord, work out everything, God. Only you can do it. You are a wonderful worker. Love your word, Lord, and help each other. Let's do a miracle, God. Lord, we speak to those dry bones. Those dry bones of marriage, we say, come back to life in the name of Jesus. We believe that those bones can lead to marriage be put together, God. Yes, Lord, do what you do, Father. You work everything. You perfect those things that concern you. Make it possible, Lord. All things possible. To your glory, O God. Yes. Lord, I praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Oh, that song that says, even when I don't see it, you're working. Yes. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. That's when we rest on the Word. Yes. Hallelujah. And even when we see it getting worse, That's right. uh, be yeah. encouraged. When you see yeah. things, when you're praying and speaking the word, and you see things in the natural getting worse, that is such a sign that God is moving. <laughs> don't faint. Don't lose heart. Don't quit praying. And don't you give up. Unless I believe and mm. see the goodness of God. You will see the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Deanna Horton says that she's... Um, Going through a trial and having some doubts about college. 
Well, all right. Yes, sir, Lord. yes we're going to pray. We, uh, you just keep sending. We're going to keep praying. Father, Lord, we pray for Miss Horton, God, for Dina. Yes, sir, Lord, we Lord, just pray right now, God, that you would give her peace. That you would give her direction, Father. Lord, I pray, God, right now, that you would just give her right and give her peace. Enjoy it unspeakable and full of glory, God. That you would order the word of God. The word says that the, that the righteous, their steps are ordered by the Lord, God. So I pray, God, that you would speak to her. Give her ears to hear. Get rid of the distraction. So that she can hear you, Father. Oh, yes, God. Oh, God. Speak to her, Lord. Do my things, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So Regina Goss looked up that scripture in Ecclesiastes. Yes. And then Jer Jeremiah. Jeremiah 31, 16 says, Thus saith mm -hmm. the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping uh -huh. and thy yeah. eyes from tears. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. yeah. When I touched it, it went away. Jeremiah 31, 17. <laughs> thine eyes yeah. from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded. Yeah saith the Lord and they okay it, it skipped and he up. shall deliver them from the enemy and bring them back to their own borders mm -hmm. that's it yeah. that's what it says and there is hope in thine end saith the Lord that thy children shall come again to their own borders mm -hmm. oh there you go there's yeah. a scripture for your children mm -hmm. that's yeah. it Yeah. Read, read that whole thing one more time alright verse 16 says thus saith the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping, mm -hmm. and thine eyes from tears, mm -hmm. for thy work shall be rewarded, yes. saith the Lord, and they shall come again from the land of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And there is hope in thine end, saith the Lord, that thy children Hallelujah. shall come again to their own border. Yes, Hallelujah. And Dana Amen. gave me that scripture mm. several years ago. Yes, and I'm sorry I didn't have the right chapter, oh, but that, I, was, that I was looking at Jeremiah 30. Because I, I used to cry and cry and cry and cry yes. over my children. Mm. She gave that scripture to me, and the Lord delivered me from the crying, mm. the mm. despair. Yes. He delivered me from that and gave me hope. And there, now you're seeing it. Now there I'm was weeping in the Old Lord. Testament. Yes. And, and they did weep. Yeah. And they, but they didn't have the Savior. And we no. have the Savior. Yeah. And what y'all been talking about tonight is about being more than conquerors. We're not only <coughs> conquering what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. But there's no place and no area where the enemy can get in to take our conqueror away. Come on. Yes. Come we're on. conquered and keep on yeah. conquering. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Well, but but it's, it, instead of crying, it's mm -hmm. time to start speaking the word over yes. our children. My yes. children are blessed exactly. and they're coming in. They're blessed and they're going out. Yes. Great is the peace of my children. Amen. Get the scriptures down that talk about our children. Yes. And then you profess them out loud mm -hmm. and speak them into the air. And the angels of God are going out and start making this happen. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. How powerful that is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. glory. My husband made this uh, up and I have it in my Bible. but And I've given them out to before to women. Uh, th that we've been at women's meetings, but it's prayers for my children, and it's quote uh, you know, all these lines of the chairs, prayers for our children, and then God's promises for our children. All right, you know, I encourage you. Either, you know, if you want something like this, we can get it to you somehow, or, or make up something of your own with your prayers for your children, and then all the promises for your children, and you keep it in your Bible and pull it out and and read. Read those, you know, say those prayers out and and, and quote those promises because yes. it builds up your faith. Absolutely. In, in the promises. Miss Tana, yeah. we can make that available to them. We'll, um, yeah, we can make a copy of it. And make a copy of it and put it on the, on the comments. It on, yeah, we can yes. put it on the comments. We sure can. And then you can, you can print it and he la went and laminated it and we've got it on bottles. So, yes. thank you, Jesus. Not only speak it, but the, the word said to meditate on it. Yeah, yeah. Thank Even, God. Imagine thank your you. children. And prospering. Exactly. Imagine your exactly. children loving God and yes. teaching yes. their children yes. and their children yes. about Amen. God. Amen. Imagine your children yes. teaching the word Amen. and speaking the word. To, imagine your children going to the lost and going to those that are in need and yes. working the work of, of the Lord. Amen. Imagine your marriage full of so much mm. love and so much peace. Absolutely. And if it's your, and if it's your marriage that you're, you're working on, mm -hmm. then remember your <laughs> husband. Remember your wife. And yes. remember the things that made you fall in love with them yes. in the first place. And ask the Lord to restore that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, glory. We're going to have... We're going to have a...
class. Lisa, come over, come over here and help me with this, if we're, you don't mind. We're going to have a, a renewing, a renewal weekend in February. Around here? <laughs> she's shy. She's shy. <laughs> she's shy for the camera, but I'm really shy. I couldn't, I couldn't get it all together. If you'll do it for me, I appreciate it. It's the weekend before Valentine's Day. We're calling it uh, Radically Renewed. Uh, it's for couples that want their marriage. Uh, rekindled their fire, that fire spark between them rekindled. Yes, and uh, we want to end the weekend. We're going to have some teaching and training and some things, some exciting things, and then we'll end with renewing our vows. Anybody that wants to join is welcome to. There'll be a small registration fee. This will be the weekend of, I think it's um, first four weekend in February. Six, February. Four through the six. I four believe. through the six. Yeah, that'll be the weekend. Um, you can text any of us to find out more information. We have several that have um, have written down comments, prayer requests. And we'll go back when we get off the air. We'll go back and look at those and and speak His word over them. Yes, yes, we will. Well, hallelujah. Well, I. I'm fired up. I'm ready to. I'm ready for more requests. You just got me fire them away. <laughs> we're going to pray. And we're going to speak the word. And we're going to see God move miraculously. Yes, we are. So we love you. And will we do that next week? Yes, Lord willing, next Tuesday we're going to keep her keep her going. <laughs> as long as the Lord wills, we're going to keep being here. So next Tuesday night, seven o'clock. We love you. Love you. Amen. God bless. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.